Welcome to this weekly video tip for Song Surgeon, and we continue this week with our overview of new features and functions found in version 4. Hi, I'm Jim Todd, and this week we're going to look at the recording feature found in Song Surgeon, which is brand new. And it's right here on the user interface. You click it, and you will see a dialog that opens like this. And I'm really not going to go into how you use this in any detail because it is a bit involved and that's not the purpose of this. So just wanted to open this and let you see sort of what it looks like. What I really want to focus on though is how you might use this recording feature. So let's go ahead and talk about that for a second. And as I do in many situations, I want to talk about what this is as well as what this is not. And let's start with what it is not. Um, this recording functionality does not mean that you now have a studio recording type of software, not even close. Things like Pro Tools or Cubase or uh, Sony SoundForge, those are all sort of recording quality software and that is not how I envision this recording feature being used in Song Search. But let's not be too dismissive of, of what it is can do because I think for many people who use Song Surgeon they'll find this a very useful feature and let's just review several situations or instances in which I think it can be used and of course with the number of people we have using Song Surgeon there will be dozens of other uses but I jotted four down on a sheet of paper here which come to mind right away and the first is that for those of you that are familiar with the sniffer module there are approximately 10% of the websites out there that we cannot detect the audio uh, from and download it. Well, with this recording function, you can record what you hear through your system speaker. So if you're on a site and you can play the audio and you can hear it through your computer, you're able to record it. So that means essentially that you will now have access to 100% of whatever is out there on the internet that you'd like to grab in terms of audio. So that's number one, and that's a pretty cool thing. The second thing is for a group of people, and I'm thinking of people that are in bands, so bandmates, teachers, students, and probably many others too, but at least for those groups of people, I can see that it might be useful or helpful to insert some type of a verbal comment in a lesson that you're creating. So, you know, I've got a lesson open on the screen. If I wanted to insert some comments at the beginning of this, uh, just a narrative as if I'm an instructor and I'm giving instructions or directions to a student, you can use the recording feature to do that by using a microphone and then you can export the whole thing and create a file that you can then send on to a student, for example, and there will be this introductory or beginning narrative and then um, after that there's the lesson. So again, I think that's a, a useful way in which people might want to use this recording feature. A third way is if you have old LPs or old tapes that you'd like to digitize. Now to do that you need some type of a digital turntable or a digital tape deck, but if you have that you then need to plug that into something and if you connect that to your computer Song Surgeon can then record that digital input signal and once it's recorded then you will essentially have digitized um, any old um, LPs that you might have or any old tapes and of course if you need to slightly adjust the key or tempo of those great that's what Song Surgeon is a master at doing so uh, the fourth thing that I think people might want to do is if you've got an instrument of some kind that you play there's a way again to get that instrument input into your computer then Song Surgeon can record it. Now let me state what I said earlier this is not um, you know high quality recording software it doesn't have nearly the controls and and nearly the features that some of those programs do but if you want sort of a quick and dirty recording that at least gives you a rough idea of, of what you might have I think this would be a great way to use Song Surgeon and for example if you've got a backing track that you want to play along with the backing track plays, you play your instrument, you record that, and then once you're done you can actually take the backing track and pair it with um, the recorded sound of you playing your instrument and put that together in a single file and you'll have you know sort of this stereo file then of you playing along with the backing track. So those are four things that, that just jump to mind real quickly um, and as I said before I think there are many 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 other ways in which people will find this to be a useful feature.